We're going to continue where we left off. We need to turn Brandon's website into a template, but first we're going to need to make a new division tag that will sit in his content area. We need to do this because it will create a background. We can put a background in it, set font colors, because we want his background here to show through, and we don't want to type directly on it. So I'm going to insert a layout object of a division tag. At the insertion point, I'm going to call the class my text area. I'm going to call the ID text area. I'm going to hit make a new CSS rule called text area. And I'm going to want the font size to be 1.1M. Make it a little bit bigger because it's going to be against a white background. We'll use a standard font family that's sans serif. I'm going to set the fonts to white, font weight to bold. The background, I'm going to use the background image. And this is a very, very small ping file. And it's very important when you're making a transparent image that you're going to use as your background. You want to use the ping and you want to use the highest resolution, the 24 ping. So that's what we have here is a textile ping. I'm going to choose that and we're going to have it repeat. It's only 10 pixels by 10 pixels. You could use a larger image if you wanted to have a special effect like fading out at the edges. Um, this is nice because it would allow the text area to grow if we wanted it to and it also reduces the file side that sets loading because it will just tile the 10 uh, pixel image across. We're going to set the width to 900 and we're going to set the height to 500. And then for positioning, I'm going to set the positioning on the left to 62, top I'm going to leave alone, right, 62, and hit apply, and OK. And OK. All right. Um, I've always got a few problems when I'm getting this set up as far as alignment. Usually you have to change. that to make it work. And the relative should work. Let's look at the text areas we've created. We've got text area. I really want this Centered. So I've got the, got the left and right of 62, and it does not seem to be applying it. And even though I've just practiced it, I have trouble getting this to work every time that I do it. So let's take a look real quick at what we have here. Text area. There we go. I actually want the text set to be left, aligned left, and we should, we're in good shape now. And it's applied everything I've clicked in it. So we've got our left area, of six, left side of 62, right side of 62. I took the actual width that Brandon designed this and subtracted 900 that I have in my text area. His web page is a little larger than I'd normally make them, but I'm okay with that. I'm going to delete that, and I'm going to preview it in a browser. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I want to hit enter one time at the bottom here. I've got a paragraph above. I want to put a paragraph below to make sure that it looks right. But let's see how it resizes. Oops. Get 
from the ground farther. And that's exactly the way I want to resize it. Should stay the same wherever it goes. Mouse overs work. All right, I'm ready to turn this into a template in the next step.